Hey there, Myth Junkies, and what is up, TV Huggers? It's your host, Mama Mythos, and today we're unveiling our next creepy creature from our October series, The Weeping Woman, La Llorona. In anticipation of the upcoming movie, The Curse of La Llorona, we will be discussing her story and possible outcomes of the movie, just for cheap thrills. What's different about this video is that I will plan to make a follow-up part 2 version after we watch the movie itself. How exciting! As always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Now, let's follow the cries of the weeping woman. The legend of La Llorona is a tale that has been told throughout Hispanic heritage with little to no alteration. Her origins are overall unknown and timeless. Countless examples and similarities reside across all spectrums of culture. But her story is unforgettable, traumatizing children across the world. She is known as a ghost who drowned her children in a fit of rage and jealousy after discovering her cheating husband and now cries while looking for them in the river, often causing misfortune or death to those who are near or who hear her. This is her story as told in Mexican folklore. In a rural village, there lived a woman named Maria. Maria came from a poor family, but was known around her village for her beauty. One day, an extremely wealthy nobleman traveled through her village and was struck by her beauty. He married her, but his father was unhappy with his decision to marry into poverty. Maria and her husband built a house in the village to be away from his disapproving father. Eventually, Maria gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. Her husband was always traveling and stopped spending time with his family. When he came home, he only paid attention to the children, and Maria knew her husband was beginning to fall out of love with her. Maria was beside her children at a local lake and saw a carriage pass with her husband beside another woman. Maria was so angry and confused. Without thinking, she picked up her two children and threw them into the river, drowning them. Only after she saw their bodies floating in the river did she realize what she had done, and she then jumped into the river as well, hoping she would die alongside them. At the gates of heaven, she was challenged over the whereabouts of her children and not permitted to enter the afterlife until she found them. Yorona is forced to wander the earth for all eternity, searching in vain for her drowned offspring. She constantly weeps, hence her name, La Yorona, the weeping woman. She is caught between the living world and the spirit world. If you hear her cries, they could bring misfortune or death. You are supposed to run the opposite direction, if you can. As for children, they must be even more careful. La Llorona is known to kidnap children as a sacrifice to bring her children back to her. Although all attempts to bring them back have failed, she persists in great determination ever increasing her desperation with each sacrifice. She is said to cry, Ay, mis hijos, oh my children. Like many folk tales involving a monster or ghost taking children away, it was and still is used as a warning from parents so that their kids won't stay out too late, especially by the riverside where La Llorona dwells in waiting. Rather effective method, by the way. From all over the world, stories that are similar to La Llorona involve a similar sequence of ominous details, such as Hera and her jealousy of the Lamia, Medea who killed her children in spite, and the woman in white known throughout pop culture and ghost stories to kill hitchhikers and good Samaritans. The Banshee and its screams is also linked to La Llorona, but of Gaelic origins. So let's talk about the upcoming movie, The Curse of La Llorona. Mark your calendars, folks. April 19th, 2019 is the official release date. Directed by Michael Chavez and produced by James Wan, it's no doubt that this movie will be insanely creepy. Within the trailer itself, we can see the cultural authenticity already. Linda Cardellini stars as a social worker. Patricia Velasquez is the mother who was trying to protect her children from La Llorona. 
and Raymond Cruz plays the role of the priest or spiritual healer. Do we agree that Velma from Scooby-Doo, the chick from The Mummy Returns, and Tuco Salamanca from Breaking Bad have what it takes to defeat the weeping woman? Maybe. The plot so far involves a social worker who takes the kids away from their mother, and while they are alone and vulnerable, which is totally a bad move on a social worker leaving these kids in the car, La Llorona moves in to capture them. Where does she take them? My prediction is that she takes the kids into an in-between space at one point or another. Maybe they get to have their glimpse at the spiritual world. At one point or another, the poster does suggest that they do end up near a lake, so we'll see some drowning action, maybe? Do the kids begin to feel bad for her and start to go along with it? If they could escape, they would. So we have to look to Tuco Salamanca to snort some meth off of his bowie knife to muster up the right amount of crazy and courage to battle La Llorona to the end. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch Breaking Bad. One thing I would like to note from a recent interview with the cast is that while on set, during his battle with La Llorona, Raymond Cruz reported that the beaded bracelet he wore for protection burst when he put his hand up and each bead was perfectly split in half. He said, no matter how hard I tried to replicate the beads breaking in half by throwing them down on the ground with all of my strength, it could not be done. Very creepy. Maybe we should do a video on the creepiest things to happen on the set of a movie. What do you guys think will happen in the movie? Let us know in the comments below. So how about it, Myth Junkies? Will you be joining us at the theater and watch La Llorona in action? Comment below if you plan on seeing the movie, or tell us what you think of La Llorona and her story. Keep an eye out for a part two right after the release date. And once again, thank you for watching and thank you for letting Mama break down the mythos.